Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. In this bacteriology lecture, we are going to talk about Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Pseudomonas aeruginosa characteristics, we are going to talk about Pseudomonas aeruginosa uh, behavior and Pseudomonas aeruginosa microbiology. So let's start talking about Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The very first parameter that we are going to discuss is the gram nature of Pseudomonas aeruginosa bacteria and it is gram negative in nature if you do gram staining it will be gram negative what is the disease that are caused by pseudo pseudomonas aeruginosa various kind of infection can be caused including pneumonia urinary tract infection wound infection and even sepsis can be caused by pseudomonas aeruginosa so for oxygen requirement it is strictly aerobic in nature that means it requires oxygen for growth nutrient requirement it is heterotrophic in nature it utilizes organic compound as a carbon source for their energy next is virulence factors what are the virulence factors used by pseudomonas aeruginosa uh, it is uh, the alginate is an example of this factor exopolysaccharides known as exopolysaccharide which is a part of carbohydrate moiety but present in the outside of the cell so alginate is an example of exopolysaccharide which is utilized it forms biofilms resistant to immune responses you can see these biofilm structures forming in your teeth and other places the next uh, topic is exotoxins it produces exotoxins like exoenzymes is an exotoxin a both of them can be produced causes tissue damage and inhibit host defenses the next one is a type 3 secretion systems they follow the type 3 secretion system to inject effector protein into the host cell contributing to pathogenesis these are the virulence factors next move to the incubation period the incubation period for pseudomonas aeruginosa variable typically like onset of symptoms if we talk about the onset of symptoms depend on the infection type where it is doing the infection antibiotic susceptibility on the other hand if we talk about antibiotic susceptibility variable often resistant to multiple antibiotics due to intrinsic and awkward mechanism of antibiotic resistance so when you talk about antibiotic resistance pseudomonas aeruginosa is very difficult to kill because it's commonly exhibit antibiotic resistance to beta lactam antibiotics like penicillin as well as the cefixim type aminoglycosides and other antibiotics uh, against aminoglycosides as well as other antibiotics pseudomonas aeruginosa is much resistant so if you have pseudomonas aeruginosa infection it is very difficult to treat it without antibiotic susceptibility test culture method how can we culture uh, pseudomonas aeruginosa it can be grown on standard culture media that is blood agar macon k agar and non lactose fermenting colonies can be found in both blood agar and uh, the macon k agar detection method what are the detection method that are utilized here the detection method starting here with the first detection that is used is the culture method simple culture method isolates uh, produced pseudomonas aeruginosa isolates from clinical samples particularly the sputum sample or if it's a small uh, like soft tissue infection or wound infection then wound swabs are also taken for this culture the second uh, detection method that we use polymerase chain reaction pcr now specifically detect the dna of pseudomonas aeruginosa the third and final detection method that we can utilize here are antibiotic sensitivity testing without antibiotic sensitivity testing we cannot prescribe any antibiotic against pseudomonas aeruginosa because it will be all in vain and generally will lead to the side effects determines the antibiotic susceptibility of the isolate for the treatment guidance this is something really important so any individual with pseudomonas aeruginosa infection is having a red alert because we have very limited antibiotic that can ultimately kill that bacteria and reduce that infection so that's all about pseudomonas aeruginosa if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye